Coming up on Look Today, a 92-year-old woman slips and falls on the ice, which ultimately causes her death. I've got details. And a couple plans on opening up a gun shop and delicatessen in Queensbury. Also, the Glens Falls Farmer Market is hosting their annual soup off, and it's going to happen this Saturday. It's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone and happy Friday. I'm Jay Hood Jackson and this is Look Today. Well, in tonight's program, I sit down with director Rene Roberge and producer Clark Wilkinson. They're from the Glens Falls Community Theater and they're here to talk about their up and coming production. Plus, I also sit down with Caitlin Getz and Samantha Kersel. Now, they're the co-chair women of the SPAC Junior Committee and they're here to talk about this year's SPAC Winter Ball. Plus, we have your weather for the Tri-North Counties for this weekend, but first, these headline stories. Now, actually, we've got some breaking news talking of SPAC. Uh, Marsha White, the executive director of the Saratoga Performing Arts Center, announced today that she's stepping down after this summer season. We'll be contacting her on Monday, hopefully get her in for an interview and give you a full update on that story. Well, in West Fort Ann, a 92-year-old woman died of hypothermia on Wednesday outside her home. Eleanor Campney slipped on ice and was unable to get back to her home. She was found around 6 p.m. in a garage across from her home on Campney Lane in West Fort Ann. Now, she lived alone but was well known in her community. Police concluded that she was unable to stand up after she fell due to weather conditions. Now, after crawling to a garage, she lost consciousness at the bottom of the stairs. We spoke to her caretaker, Regina Leahy, about the incident. The best we can tell is one of her shoes was outside and we think maybe she might have slipped in the ice and then got herself into the garage. And from that point, I mean, just, I think was probably too weak to go any further. That's the best guess we have. Yeah, we wish to extend our condolences to her family and friends. Well, in other news, a couple plan to renovate a vacant commercial building on Route 9 across from the Glen Street Drive-In Theater. They plan on opening up a gun shop and a delicatessen. Well, the town planning board will review the proposal at its meeting coming up 7 p.m. this Tuesday. Also in the news, a Glens Falls teen was arrested Thursday for burglarizing a Main Street store last month. Jaden Haim was charged with third-degree burglary. Now, that's a felony. He allegedly stole $680 worth of electronic cigarettes from Rock City Vapors. Well, changing from news to weather, today was fairly overcast with a slight increase to a balmy 27 degrees. Well, let's see how the weekend is shaping up. For a more detailed look at your weather, we're going to head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. And back to the news. Well, the Glens Falls Farmer's Market will hold its annual soup off. That's a cooking contest at the Sanford Street School Gymnasium from 9 a.m. to noon tomorrow, Saturday. Vendors and farmers will distribute free samples of soup and customers are going to vote for their favorite. And musician Mac McDonald will provide entertainment. Now, for more than 30 years, the Farmer's Market features over 25 businesses and farms and they participate to bring fresh local produce and handmade crafts to the people of Warren and Washington County. Well, coming up, I sit down with director Rene Roberge and production manager Clark Wilkinson of the Glens Falls Community Theater, and they're going to talk about the up and coming production of the Charles Wood Theater. Plus, I also sit down with Caitlin Getz and Samantha Kersel. Now, they are the co chairwomen of the SPAC Junior Committee. And they're here to talk about the SPAC Winter Ball and the upcoming 50th anniversary season at SPAC. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea or join us for an interview, give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000. 